how to protect yourself from the psychic attacks of narcissists. I have been so excited to make this video that I think it's going to be so helpful for you. First thing first, have absolutely no fear, okay? Knowing that you are the love and light, no eviling can do anything to you. And secondly, do remember that never attack back. No narcissist ever worse you, your energy, and worse you to lower yourself to their level to fight with them. Okay? Remember that fighting with a narcissist is like wrestling with a pig. And you get all dirty and muddy and the pig loves it. <laughs> okay, now I, let's go into details. First of all, uh, I will share with you some methods that I have personally used and they're quite helpful before. And then we go to actually that only method I use. <laughs> well, when you experience an attack, whether in the form of bullying and gossip, envy, jealous, or even legal dispute. Um, what can you what you can do immediately is to take a hot shower <laughs> to let this disgusting energy leave your body. You can also take a hot bath with sea salt. Okay, it's very great for wearing off negativity. Additionally, you can put lemon with sea salt underneath your bed and at different areas of your house. <laughs> and also, you can use sage to cleanse your home environment, plus using palacento to cleanse the negativity inside your body. And then you can also use all kinds of crystal. What I love most is black terminin and it can absorb the negativity in your surrounding and even online. I used to have a giant big rock of black terminin. <laughs> of course, you can also use evil, uh, evil eye, the magic talisman, and together with Hamza that can also create protection bubble around you, especially for distracted glances. Well, for magic talisman, it really depends on where it is, which hands of master it came from. Of course, the higher the train, the master is, they can produce the magic talisman with higher properties, okay? And crystal as well. You need to find the crystal that has the highest amount of light and it's really somehow open with the people who know how to deal with it. Well, after being a pilgrim traveling around for a long time, as you can see now, <laughs> I have absolutely nothing on me, okay? <laughs> I used to have all kinds of crystal, all kinds of items that, that I thought was meaningful. Not that I don't think that they're still useful, but because I have found the most powerful tool to protect myself, and that is daily meditation okay there's no way around it let me tell you like all the top black magician aka the most dangerous narcissist i know they all meditate the one who meditates and the one who does not is not in the same league okay there's no no fight here <laughs> and also because of that 
they are able to send you invisible psychic attack in the form of illness, accident, or destruction of important human relationships in your life. <laughs> And that is that's also why it's even more important for you yourself to meditate daily. Okay? So how you protect yourself with meditation? First thing first, grounding. Ground your energy and really root yourself like a tree deeply into the core of Mother Earth. And there you will feel the support of Mother Earth and your connection to nature. Well, same as walking and spending time in nature, that could really help you to raise up your frequency. And secondly, is to cleanse the energy in your energetic field. And this you can do with glowing white light inside your body and in the sphere of your surrounding, okay? And also, you can create protection shells. And I know a great meditation I used to do is to draw energy first from the center of earth to create this fiery, golden, red bubble around me, and then draw the energy from the center of galaxy to create this crystal white diamond shell around me. And then draw the energy from center of my heart, from my higher self, to create this electric blue shell around me. I was use, using this method so much that it works like a charm. And then you can also work on core cutting to visualize that individual that you have difficulty with and also see the energy core connecting both of you that exchanging energy and you are able to cut it off or result or, or burn it with golden fire and to send this person away okay and another way is to prepare yourself before any encounter with that narcissist individual you first fill yourself with golden white light. And then you also fill this person with golden white light. This is the next level, okay? It's when you're able to raise up higher to the place of loving kindness. And you somehow understand that this person is only an individual being possessed. And then they are here to do their work, to be your ascension assistants. And then you, you feel the pity, empathy, compassion towards them as well. So then you visualize the energetic exchange between you two is also filled with golden white light. And with this kind of high vibrational frequency, you go into the situation to deal with them. Okay? And that can let you stay calm, positive, and not be triggered. And even if there's any tiny trigger in your heart, you're able to forget about it immediately. <laughs> well, last thing last. Who you are is actually the greatest protection. Remember that you are the love and light and you have to find a way find your path to raise yourself up high 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 when you merge with your higher self and there will be a protection bubble formed for you automatically this is way more powerful because it's not the protection that you intentionally create but rather it's a byproduct of your love and life. And with this protection shell, any negativity, evil force, entity can be easily bounced back 
Sometimes you notice the result of this negativity bouncing back that happen without even noticing anyone is trying to do bad for you first. Okay, <laughs> it, it works like a charm anytime, and you know that it is their karma. Okay, when they anyone trying to do anything negative or send you negative thoughts to you, and it's their thing, and you know that you release it, you let them do what they do, actually, or let the result happen. And you just move around without effect being affected by anything. <laughs> well, the last thing is that sometimes when the very very dangerous situation happens, is that um, the psychic attack will be in the form of possession. You feel that some really powerful, dangerous entity entering your energetic field. Inside your body, even okay. Well, there's lots of traditional way to deal with it, but let me tell you, this has already happened to me, and the most effective way is daily meditation and devotion. And eventually, this will be let out from your energetic field, and you will return to your original self again <laughs> well i have a serious meditation video here and we'll make a lot more in the future i hope that help if you need more effective direct support from me you're welcome to reach out to me and i do energetic healing with one-on-one -on -one and group session and you can find my contact in my description box. Much love.